click it to watch it. Yeah, no, it's actually like Craig's here, um, and uh, Doug is here, and Tato's here, and Alf, you're all here, guys. So, uh, so let's hear it. I mean, I can see Alf's been in there with the prediction already. Um, Ryan, what do you think? Do you want to uh, give a prediction? or? I think, um, I think the Devils do it in extra time. <laughs> Well, as a long term declared Dragon supporter, I obviously I had football monologues supported before that, even like that, I obviously can't hide my uh, my <laughs> my here. So, uh, so, so, so I'll go for the I'll go for the Dragons then instead. Um, I'm not going to ask any of the co-commentators because they should be supporting their own side. Instead, I'll have a little bit of a look in the comms as he's going right goes for a Desmond. Sure <laughs> 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 one uh, says Dimple for the home side. Devils on penalty says Mr. Edwards. Uh, Devils 1 0 says James. Uh, Mr. Mega Horse 3 1, but who knows which way. Uh, okay, right, so it's a mixed bag. It's a mixed bag. Well, let's kick it off then. I hope you're ready. Let's kick it off. On the, on, on the old uh, medium pace and uh, who said that it was going to be an hour and someone said it was going to be we're going to play the whole thing on very slow in real time oh, uh, let's kick it off and see if uh, that will be mount but I'll slow oh wow <laughs> <laughs> absolutely drag the kick as well off. two three four five minutes gone six minutes gone and no chances when Broncos picks up a loose ball uh, Montero comes forward for, for some reason <laughs> Montero and into Kuhl and here's a pen to try to slot and the Devils open the scoring to seven minutes on the clock. Uh, the guy who was previously the top scorer in the league find the goal with just 10 minutes played. Huge drama in the grand final as the Devils really seem to be on top of this one. Dragons struggling to even have a shot at goal and here's Emerson who comes forward. Can't have a good save there. Ball goes out for a corner though. Ferguson goes to it but Bama picks it up, comes forward, marker like handballs. That's his contribution so far in the first half. 15 minutes in, I can get the feeling that the Devils are uh, are on top so far, but the Dragons are coming back into it now. There was Archie back for the first kind of chance, or at least an attempt from the Dragons. But the Devils are really keeping them in check here. It's really not been a, a, a hugely exciting final so far. Half time or half an hour played already. That could be scary. Is it going to be? Oh, it's going to be a yellow or red. Let's have a look at the color. It's a yellow card for Lucio. Oof. Dragons live to five another day. That could have been a crucial one uh, there if that central defender had been set out and uh, sent off at that stage. But it's still Devils who are creating the chances. Kieran Dye with a cross. So he heads it away. Mark here coming forward now. But Matera picks up the loose ball. Mito on. Mark unleashes the volley and hits the post. Dragons are still in it, but they're under all sorts of pressure here. And there is Kieran Dyer coming in from the right hand side with the header, putting the Devils 2 0 up. It's all about five and the boys in black and red so far. Can't punch the ball clear and then kicks it upfield. Perhaps at the same time. I'm not sure what went on there. Two minutes added on to the first half. Still to see any sign of a big fight back from the Dragons. Could this be it? It's Tommy Robinson who's uh, doing the business in the defensive midfield for the Devils here, really completely keeping the Dragons out. Archie back with the show, how does he the bar? That's all we've had in the first half. Oof. I mean, um, Dragons Everyone's disappointed with the amount of. They've had the possession, but the ball's not. They've not just not really managed to get it um, too far down into the uh, into the to the Swindon area. The match report is that um, obviously Montero found the uh, Q Q scrapper and Penza who did not miss um, the first goal in a, in a while for him. And then Broncos, who is the assist man of the season, with a cross from the left hand side and Dyer with the header, um, putting the uh, the Devils two 0 up. Um, we'll come to the uh, we'll come to the Devils first. Uh, five. Feet. How are you? How are you feeling? How's the cat? Um, the, the cat's fine. He's asleep on the other side of the room. Um, 
I was largely happy with with the commentary text that was coming up you, and and the stats seemed to back it up. It, we we restricted them a lot again, which was good. I'm happy with that. Um, obviously, we would have liked to create more, but we, we've taken our chances this time, which we didn't in previous games. So that's crucial. I knew going into it, we'd have to start quickly. Um, I think the stats that Swan has brought up before and me and Jamie, we did a, um, a preview show before the, the initial playoff games. And it said how we, we generally score our most important goals in the first half. So it was crucial we did so. Um, so yeah, I'm largely very happy. Just having a quick look at the players and their stats there. I, I think I'm gonna go unchanged, please. Well, it uh, doesn't surprise me because it was a, a solid first half display. Uh, Eric Hewell's not been that great in the air, but uh, I think you can uh, probably live with that. I don't think this is over yet. Yeah, obviously, man. assist for Van Bronckhorst and Ben's on score sheet. It's been a, a, a good performance from the from the Devils in the first half. Dragons with not at all to do to to use a, a familiar phrase in the in the second half. Lucia has been uh, been been pretty strong there in the defence. Ronnie Johnson uh, not uh, not really as impressive. Uh, Jamie, what do you make of it? What uh, what chances have you and uh, and Duggan would have got there got in store for us? Yeah, well, it's just keep. I don't want to say the players in the forward areas. It's Iku in the centre midfield, back and call. Um, you know, Ryan alluded to it, I think obviously how many points over the course of the season has been kind of shutting people out. Obviously, if he could be the first team tonight to score more than two against us if he gets a third. Um, you know, our forward line is nowhere near the strong as probably quite most teams in the league, which shows probably how well we've done to, to come out on top after 26 games because there's not many of our players, not strikers, Constant, Nicolai, and Nikolai, an old bad student, there's not many who would probably, other teams would want to be taking them off us. So, you know, our game has been done, but not being strong. Uh, but obviously two goal, two shots on target, both gone in. Uh, Khan not having his best game when he had, you know, can't fog in this season. Um, but yeah, our forward players just you know, haven't done it. And it's just unfortunate day for it to happen, but it's one of those things. Yeah. Um, any substitutions? Um, uh, yeah, we'll take... Mark Kuroff for the alias and swap the alias with Davids. Oh, uh, uh, there we go. For Davids. Uh -huh. And swap back with the Alessandro and put Nikolai up top. Uh, we go like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, Ryan, now that uh, we've had the changes confirmed, anything you would have done different in your uh, experience as a double uh, Super League winning manager? You had better players at your disposal, perhaps, but apart from that. I don't think I'm going to rely on. I don't think I'm going to make two changes. I would probably. No, I think that's. Yeah, that's pretty much. Not too much Um. I was thinking that I would place just Nikolai for Kerr and then move Alessandro back to attack and chase in the field. Can be back to but I mean I think that was not line up and down the same side of the field. Um probably get into the game a bit more and I'm sure uh the devil's gonna get the train dragon's gonna get back into this. Yeah, they're gonna have to it's gonna have to be an early goal. We say that quite often, but it's two nil the most dangerous lead for such. <laughs> it's one of, the, well, one of the dangerous leads anyway that, that, that you can have. Uh, we're still on medium, um, so there should be a plenty of time for us to, to keep an eye out on the uh, on the action. We'll see if Edgar Davids and, uh, and Mr. Nicolau can come in and, uh, and do something, something for the Dragons. They're going to need something, one shot, not even on target in the first half. Um, it's not looking too positive, but uh, let's see if the fortunes will, uh, will, will, will change in the second half with those two substitutions as we kick off the second part of the grand final season eight. Double substitution for the Dragons, as we see there, Bill Sander coming off, Nicolau coming on. A couple of minutes played already in the second half. It has been a, the yellow bar is, uh, is in charge, but they're 10 minutes in, and then here comes the first chance. Khan puts in a free kick. It must have been from very far away. Farmer wide on the left crosses the ball. He has been quite influential. Dyer picks up a yellow there for holding on to Farmer's shirt. Nothing else comes of it. 15 minutes played in the second half. Here comes Sari now. Dragons are trying to create something, but they also just hold it so strong onto the ball once they get it. Oh, Ronnie Johnson trips Emerson. Maybe that's in a dangerous position. That Broncos is going to shoot from range. Deflected off the wall. Emerson collects the Duke's ball, but Dragons win it back. 20 minutes left, 25 minutes left to play. It's Kuehl coming forward. Uh, Emerson is straight upside. 
So he now takes the ball with a John Pondon forward, backs the ball again, Rousen clatters into Davids, Mama taking the free kick, Nushu into the area, plays it into Joe Cole, Rousen gets out John, but they just can't get that shot on target. 20 minutes left now. Celia is coming forward with Nushu with Sauri. Sauri lost it forward, throws up for a throw in there, and uh, Hugh and I can pick that up and, uh, and throw it back into play. They're holding on to it again now, the Devils. Onto the head of Benza, but um, only for that, but a strong save there. Graveson coming forward now. Graveson gets into the area, lays it off, and here comes Ferguson. Yes! With Fury and that uh, is three for the Devils. Uh, uh, curtains, curtains in this one. Dominant display by the Devils. 15 minutes left. 10 now is going to be a consolation goal for Dragons. I think, unfortunately, if they are to get anything in this, first time they've conceded more than two all season, I believe. Oh, he's on. Devils just proven a little bit too strong for them here in the final. Hugh and Dyer not mixed Barber. I mean, they're playing with them now, toying with them. And Milo oh. puts in the four. It's, it's around. It's a, it's a very, very strong Devils display. And uh, yeah, the Dragons' bad results against the Devils continues into, uh, into the Super League Grand Final. And I think that's going to be the final whistle. In front of 15,857 fans and 19 people viewing it on YouTube. Uh, Devils have, uh, Devils have won season eight grand final. Congratulations.